people have this perception that everybody wants to come to the United States because they just want to come to the United States. Uh, sometimes there are some policies that we make which makes it unlivable for people to live in their own countries, things like NAFTA, uh, things like CAFTA, the Central American Free Trade Agreement. We witnessed last fall, I believe, a surge of children coming from Central American countries. You just sit down and think about it and start asking why and the risk reward aspect of uh, traveling 1,700 miles through a desert the, um, and knowing the high rate of not, uh, the, the not surviving that trip, why would someone decide to send their little kid? Or why would a little kid decide to just say, I would rather die than be here? And it may not be all of it, but this thing started happening after we get, we get into this free trade agreement with these countries that is really starving their people and giving them no other option but come here. And when they come here, we throw tomatoes and drugs in buses where these immigrants are traveling, traveling on. So if we live in a democracy, if we call ourselves a democracy, me as a voter have to take responsibility to what my congressman does. And all of us as Americans have to be responsible to what our, gov uh, our, our government does. Our government in a bigger way creates the situations. We're worried about this thing called TPP, the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership, that incorporates about 62% of the world's GDP, the countries that are involved in the Trans-Pacific Partnerships. And our government is in a process of uh, a backroom deals being negotiated to deal with countries with no basic human rights, uh, the, he, 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 human right laws, with countries who don't even have any kind of a minimum wage law. So what does that mean for the American worker without any kind of filtration, without any kind of uh, uh, protection for workers' rights in other countries that we deal with, when they are forced to compete with someone who makes 30, 35 cents an hour in Vietnam to trade up their jobs that they're making about $35 an hour here. So this is not being against trade. We can actually craft good trade agreements, but good trade agreements cannot be crafted in a closed door, in a secret, through a fast track mechanism. And we're fast fighting fast track to the nail with everything we can. And we need everybody, the so students, campuses, everybody's help on this in, 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 stopping, in, in stopping fast track. Uh, we believe if we stop fast track, we can actually manage the amount of people actually who, who want to come into, into, this, into this country to start out with.